the live on YouTube. Hi guys, Spray here. Ah, good afternoon. David Gross here, back with you to share a little bit of our wisdom for sublimation success. Happy November 1st. How exciting. I hope everybody had a great Halloween. We certainly did. A um, little cool around here. Did you, did you get out, Sprite? No, I did not. Uh, you may need to go live from Facebook. Uh, no, I did not. I'm, I don't like scary stuff, so... Okay, well, we, uh, we had a lot of fun um, kind of stuff, so okay. let's get on uh, Facebook here and we'll make sure we're, um, we're going. Um, yep. All right, well, we got YouTube up and running. Hey, we're on Facebook too. Fantastic. Hi, everybody. Yay, we're good. You don't have to mess with it. Okay. Good deal. So um, we got a lot to share. Um, one of the first things to share is um, about our upcoming event next week. We will be exhibiting and teaching at the Charlotte NBM show, which is next Friday and Saturday. I think my class is on Friday, probably around 10 o'clock. Uh, the good news with those kind of shows is it's all free. Um, great deal. Can't beat it. Um, and if you attend my class, uh, we'll give you a coupon. Uh, I think it's $25. I think so. Buy yeah. whatever you want mm -hmm. um, kind of stuff. And if you come by the booth, we'll give you another coupon. So on the back of the show flyer uh, for the specials, uh, we've got a coupon there. So you really have a great opportunity to, of course, meet us in person, see all our great new products, see the existing products, because for new folks, the existing products, of course, are new to them. Um, but a great way to learn. Also, we'll be operating the Condi Kiosk. Condi Kiosk is an awesome way for you to make something for yourself with your photo on your phone. Um, and so uh, this will be the first show, um, well, second show. We were just at the Printing United show in Dallas. So it'll be the second show. We'll be showing uh, three, count them, three great sublimation printers. So we've got the extremely proven SG400, the SG800, and now joining that club will be the new Epson F570 printer. So you got three, and they really, each one meets um, a very different, I think, need. The SG400, low cost, great printer, uh, excellent color, eight and a half by 14. The SG800, a little bit bigger output with the bypass tray, does a whopping 13 by 21. And then the new Epson F570 will do a 24 inch wide uh, roll print. Um, you can run narrow, narrow uh, rolls in that as well. Um, so you got three uh, different printers. And of course, um, when you're considering a printer, you also want to, of course, consider your heat press. And so um, the, the perfect printer, perfect heat press probably for the Epson would be the new George Knight DK32AP, which was had its world debut last week at the 
uh, Printing United show in Dallas. So that's a fantastic press. Got at least one video up for that one. Um, also, um, um, we've got a webinar coming up, yes, right? Yes, we do. Um, on November the 12th, uh, Condi and Sawgrass present Sublimation Frequently Asked twe Questions. So that'll be 4 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Central, 2 Mountain, and 1 Pacific. So this special session features Condi and Sawgrass Sublimation experts who will discuss a wide variety of digital decoration topics as well as answer questions about sublimation-related items. So if you want to ask a question, you can wait, of course, for the webinar. You can go ahead and ask a question now through, through say, Facebook, and we'll address those questions best we can. Um, if you're not able to watch the webinar, or be part of the webinar, we will record it, of course. And, um, and so, you know, if you can't do it real time, then ask a question, and you can come back later and listen to the answers. So I would love to hear from each one of you what questions you'd like answered. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, if you're at the Charlotte class, you can ask your questions during that session as well. Uh, what makes these sessions um, so good is hearing from folks like you. You can, you can provide a question, you can comment, you can give advice, you can share experience, um, and that's what frequently happens uh, with the, uh, the class. So, in addition to that, we also have a pretty big sale going on right now. Um, and I just realized that I don't have you. I don't have all the mugs in the video. So let's, there we go. There's our mugs right there. All these mugs in front of David are on sale. Uh, they're on sale below last column pricing, you guys. So really, really big deal. Um, we've got the mug 11. We've got the mug 03. We've got the mug 15. The stainless steel water bottle, the SSB 17-W, we've got the Mug 02A, the Camp Mug, the CM11, we've got the Mug 01A, the SS Mug 15W, the stainless steel mug, we've got the stainless steel wine glass, the SSW G12-W, we've got um, the RH Mug 11K, which has a little decorative handle and rim. I do see the RH. I, Nicole took it. Um, okay. I've got the mug K11, which is um, the black mug. I don't have that one either. The black mug with the white patch. And then I've got the poly mug 15T-A, which is the polymer mug. So guys, all of these mugs are on sale below last column pricing. That is a huge deal. That is a huge deal. This is really, really cheap. Great for you to stock up for Christmas. Now, why do we do this? Um, is because I see too often people get into the, the, the frenzy of, of sublimation during the holidays and they'll not have adequate inventory and then they'll have to pay extra to have it overnighted, second day, things like that. And so um, take advantage of these huge specials now so that you'll have adequate inventory. Also, you can, you can step out of your comfort zone and maybe uh, cash in on some profits by some of the exciting new um, drinkware that maybe you haven't done in the past. Um, like this, this is just a great double-walled um, stainless steel, what are we, what's this? The SS Mug 15-W. Yeah, so stainless awesome. Mug and then the out. stemless wine glasses. Yep. Um, just an excellent product. So these are all j just really good products. Um, and I think all of them can be done in the oven except for the, the poly mug. This is, this is going to be one for uh, your traditional mug press. And if you do this one, you do need the insert. Now, I bring this up because you do need a mug press to do it. You do need the insert. But it is one of my favorites because um, I can put my coffee in it, put it in the microwave, which is not what I can do with... Um, with my very, very old um, stainless steel tumbler. Um, so, at any rate, um, take advantage of these sales for a few more days um, to stock up for Christmas. So, you know, a lot of people, you know, when they get under pressure, if they've got the inventory, they're going to get out there and sell it. So, you really need to get out there and sell the stuff. Um, 
you know, I love the Camp Mug. Um, just, just absolutely awesome. And uh, you have your full bleed template for this, right? I do. We're going to do one today. Okay. <laughs> and then you get the full bleed template for the 11 ounce mugs, and you're working on the 15. I am. I was working on it today, and then you know how that goes. Yep. So let's talk about the sale one more time. So this selection of drinkware is what is on sale. So we've got the Mug 11. The 11 ounce mug is one of our most popular mugs. The Mug 03 is a different coated 11 ounce mug. The Mug 15, that's a 15 ounce uh, ceramic mug. The SSB 17-W, that's our tall water bottle right there in front of David. Uh, the Mug 02A, that's another 11 ounce mug with a, a different type of coating on it. The CM11, which is the camp mug. The Mug 01A, which is also, I think the Mug 01 is a 15. One of, either the Mug 01 or the Mug 02 are 15. I'm, I'm, I should have written that out. Yeah, the, we've got three Mug 11s, if you will, three. Mm -hmm. And you can think of it as good, better, best, but in reality, they're all great. Um, we have the top of the line would be our Mug 11. That's a Thailand produced uh, mug, manufactured, coated there in Thailand. Um, um, just impeccable grade, impeccable density. And then we've got a really good grade of mug from China. And then what I would call the most cost effective mug um, also made in China. So you really got three great choices um, for, for your drinkware. So also um, the SS Mug 15W, that's the stainless steel mug David just showed. The SSW G12, the stainless steel wine glass. The RH Mug 11K, which is the deco or the colored rim and handle the mug k11 which is the black mug with the white patch and then also the poly mug 15t-a which is the polymer mug so guys all that is on sale five percent below last column pricing get it while you can because the sale's not lasting long so also thanks for watching so because you're watching i need more people to watch go share this video i know you guys are in some sublimation groups let's get our viewership up if we can hit couple hundred people I'll give away some art packs and then if we hit a little bit more maybe I'll give away some more art packs let's show them what art they're gonna get so Zach has been really really busy this first pattern I really like this is um, just a single design that Zach did it's a mountain scene so that's gonna be available tonight or you could win it if we have enough viewers um, we've got another really cute pattern that we're gonna do actually we're gonna do all three patterns today so Zach is rolling the footage uh, share this video also, you will get to win, one or two lucky people will get to win one of everything that I press today if you can do that great thing that we ask you to do at the end of the broadcast. So, I've also got review winners, gallery winners. We're going to get to all that after the fun stuff's over. You want to get to the fun stuff? Absolutely. Let's get to the fun stuff. In addition to this great mug sale, we also have some new mugs. But first, we're going to do a camp mug. So... Um, that beautiful first design that uh, uh, Zach showed was the, um, I didn't realize that was cutting your face off, David. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, I just need to zoom out a little bit. Ooh, the coffee is cute. Everybody loves the coffee one. Everybody loves the coffee one. All right. I had a question. I had a question about something uh, at the show as you're getting ready to do the, you're going to do the camp mug first. I am going to do the camp mug. So I did this cute design. I'll show you guys in just a second. This is a Zach's uh, mountain sunset design. So um, I'm going to switch to go the top. to the top cam there, Zach. Is that five? Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. So I've got my design cut out. I've had questions about how to cut out the holes for the um, for the handle. I just I just use scissors and I just kind of go around the hole. So I'm going to place my design, tape it down. David, you said you had a question. Yeah, I was just looking at the questions. One was about the show and whether or not we would have a sale at the show for a Sawgrass 400 um, Caesar unit. Let's talk about that for a second. So. Sprite um, has done a lot of testing on the Caesar ink that can be purchased with the 400 and 800. And um, Sawgrass rolled it out as sort of a bundle to really attract the, the, um, the, the, the thousands of people that use Caesar products. Um, that ink is different from 
the, the ink that everybody else uses, which is the Sublejet HD. And after working with both inks, um, we as a company have decided that we get the best results with the Caesar product using the Sublejet HD inks. And so, um, as a benefit to the Sublejet HD inks, we think you get better results with the Caesar Easy Subly Vinyl and all the color management for Corel, for Photoshop, for Illustrator, for Silhouette are already tuned with the, the Sublejet HD inks. So um, our recommendation would be that if you're going to buy a 400 or 800, you buy it with the Sublejet HD inks for the best results. That that would be um, that would be our opinion. You are correct, sir. Okay, I had a question about lowering the temp 25% for a confection of con convection oven and no if our temperature says 400 degrees 25 minutes or 5 minutes then it's 400 degrees in a convection oven um, I had another question about oh the seams lining the seams up in the back and how to stop getting a seam so in order to stop a seam it's really about the design that you use so I really always even though Sometimes you guys can't see the seam. The seam is there where the pattern butts up. Um, if you're getting a white space, then there's an issue with the template. But if, you know, if it's just the pattern lining up in the back, I mean, that's, it's, that's just going to happen. So, all right. So I'm just applying my heat. It's my favorite part of doing mugs now. Boom. So you guys see it pulled a little bit, but that's okay. I don't know if you can see. Stick it up to the camera. Uh, so there you go. It's, uh, it's done. We're going to place this in the oven for six minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So the magic of the no. sub... Wait. No, I'm sorry. That's correct. You're right. I'm done. Go ahead. Keep going. The magic of the sub shrink um, is very simple. It does what a mug wrap used to do. It does it better. It does it faster um, with more flexibility. And um, so the, the magic of what we do today in an oven is amazing. And the real excitement will come as we introduce more and more products for the oven. So we are in, in, in full motion here of coming up with all sorts of new products that will be able to be done in the oven with Sublishrink. I have a couple of questions um, about the full bleed template. So the full bleed template you can get um, on the Camp Mug and the Mug 11s you can get on the website on the product page. Um, Sam, or you can download it from your, your order history online. There you go, order history online. Sam. Um, with the handle, uh, I would, uh, I have a great video. Um, I really just cut a slit up the side about maybe three inches, four inches, and just pulled the handle through and taped it underneath. So I have a great video on our Kelly TV page called Sublimating Handled Mugs with Subla Shrink or something like that. So, uh, what size shrink wrap for the camp mug? SF79. Justin likes the heat gun. Yeah. Um, here's a great question. If you were already using the Subli, uh, excuse me, the Easy Subli ink, is it possible to convert to the Sublijet HD ink without harming the printer? So Sawgrass um, certainly tries to deter people from doing that. Um, but technically, if you bought a set of the Sublijet HD inks, you could put them in your printer. And we have a video showing you how to do what's called an init fill, which will flush the old ink, ink out bring it in, and then your printer is using the Sublejet inks. You would most likely also need to purchase a new waste ink tank, which is inexpensive. Um, if that's what you desire, we can walk you through that. 
Um, the item name and number for the full mug snuggle shrink for the 11 ounce mug. The item number is SF79. So shrink SF like snuggle film 79. SF79. Um, for larger tumblers, do you remove all the racks? Yes, Christy, you remove all the racks in the oven for the larger tumblers. And I didn't have to put the rack in for this small tumbler, but yeah, I did. I did it. Yeah, this is still our favorite oven, um, subject to you folks coming up with a suggestion on a new one. Or me going to Walmart and buying and, one. And we need to hit Best Buy, we need to hit you know, Lowe's and Home Depot and see if they're carrying something we've not yet tested. Um, but um, for $79, this puppy will make you a lot of money. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, um, okay. I saw Tracy. I, found, I think you had a question earlier, but I don't remember what it was. You can ask me again if you want to. Oh, you were, she was talking about the Florida-Georgia game. Hmm, good luck. <laughs> good luck, babe. All right. Aloha from Hawaii, viewing from the hospital. Oh, Richard. What was the question? I have the 800, but I don't want to use for the 800. I want to purchase a new one for a sizer. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be um, great. Can I use Caesar, this? excuse me. Um, I don't quite understand that. I think it was just a comment. Okay. Um, can I use the subble shrink in the sublimation 3D vacuum printer? So, so you can do that if is just strictly in heat mode. So if you've bought one of those Chinese 3D sublimation presses, yes, you can use it in, in just a pure heat mode. But again, for $79, you can buy this. Justin says, Hicks all the way. Justin, I think you need to get to work. Well, hey, Justin. Um, so as far as commercial ovens, we sell a Hicks, which is in my opinion, would be relatively expensive, but you get what you pay for. It so, is very expensive. It's um, really expensive. But, but it's really you're getting expensive. something that puts out an enormous amount of heat, sort of like a commercial stove with big, big, huge gas burners. And so it's up to you. The step above all that is a conveyor oven where you put the mugs on there and they go through. So uh, bottom line is uh, this is a very good step. Um, if you want to purchase like a kitchen grade convection oven and use that, so be it. That is also good. Um, the challenges with random ovens is often the circulation is not even. Um, so the more you pay for something, probably uh, the more even the heat is. I have a bunch of questions about the oven. Um, so the oven I got from Walmart, it is the Hamilton Beach Large Convection Oven, and it is model number 31108. So, um, and you can buy it at Walmart, and you can leave the bottom rack in, or you can take the bottom rack out. Uh, it depends on if the tumbler is going to fit or not. I have a great question. How tight do you need to make the subless shrink? And I really just use the gun to to just kind of get it tight around the uh, mug and then once you put it in the oven the heat in the oven will do the rest so you don't need to use the sublish the gun too long if you use the gun too long you're going to start to rip holes in the sublish rink okay will you post the sale cup sizes on the web page so uh, P uh pilar if you go to our web page it's either there's a big banner on the front page and it'll take you straight to the sale there we go Okay, here we go. Let's take it out. Well, Cheryl, better, better late than never. Better late than never. Blah. Okay. Whew. You always want to take the shrink film off really quickly. It's, the hotter it is, the easier it is to take off, I feel. This is why you grow your, your fingernails out. Ooh, that looks good. Okay. Look how great that that text turned out. And then there's Zach's. So. Cool. That's cool. pretty neat. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm going to show you what it did. 
This is uh, uh, image number one that can be available if you guys, um, I want you all to see how, how good that text looks. It's really hard to do text like that. And I don't know if you can see it. It looks kind of blurry on the camera, but it's not blurry at all. And then there's that cute little sunset, mountain sunset. And let's see. So, and then there's underneath the handle. Very impressive. Good job. Yeah. And, you know, it, it, you know, takes just a tiny bit of practice, and now you can produce a product that uh, is spectacular and is certainly of a higher value than you can find buying from the, the big boys and big girls out there um, that are those, those mass sublimators. Um, they're, they're not able to do this. They're not doing it, and it is highly unlikely they will ever do it because it changes their process a little bit too much. They just want to keep doing it the way they've always done it. Good news is you can step out of your comfort zone, do a whole lot more things with really same effort um, and make lots of money by delivering value. Um, so a couple of questions. One, do you have to have a heat gun to make it work correctly? And yes, so you do. I think that heat gun was like 20 bucks from one of these uh, stores like Harbor Freight or something. Um, and then Carol said that the heat gun always takes her nail polish off, and that's why I never get my nails done, because everything hot immediately takes the polish off of your nails. So, And uh, Levite Apparel, I hope I said that right, um, the image is for sale on condidesign.com. Yay. Okay. All right, what are we going to do now? I'm excited. We, got, we have some new mugs, and I'm always excited when we get new mugs. It feels like Christmas. So we're going to start with the big mug. So we have a new... 30 ounce octagon based tumbler and you're like well sprite we just did a 30 ounce octagon based tumbler well this one is different so this is a polymer tumbler so it has a, pla uh, a polymer interior and it has a polymer exterior uh, this is more your what would you call it like a fundraiser item well you know it just it, it's we've started doing a lot of work with polymers plastics things like that and we now have a number of polymer drinkware items and, and more to come. This product, to me, it, it's, it's almost like it's, it has an unfair advantage over the expensive or more expensive stainless steel tumblers. It has an unfair advantage because it looks great, drinks the same way, but it's a fraction of the price. It's pretty, it's, it's cheaper. So, I mean, it's, it's a nice cup. So, and now we're going to... sublimates beautifully. We're going to debut um, image number two from Mr. Zach, which is our Chinese clouds. This is not up yet, so you win it before you can buy it. <laughs> win it before you can buy it, um, or I'll have it up tonight after I get done with all this fun stuff. So, and it's Levite apparel. Still don't know if I said it right. I hope I did. Um, all right, so uh, same thing. Let's go to, um, yep, yep, yep. So it's very light, of course. Very light. Um, oh, it's made feels of good. It's incredibly strong. Mm -hmm. I doubt if there's any scenario that could break it. Uh, probably something I, out there, sledgehammer yeah, hit it or crush it. Never say um, never. <laughs> never say never. That's good advice. So really, you, you've, we, we've just got a, another category that, that another product that fits in that that tumbler kind of drink category that everybody loves you know everybody seems to have one of these in their hands and now you can produce one that that essentially is is all well, plastic well and I mean not just all but it's fully fully customizable and fully I'm going to show you that double walled because of the inside walled. So we're going to do the bottom also, but first I want to tell you guys, so it comes, it comes in three pieces. So it comes in the shell, it has the inner tube, inner tube, and then it has the lid. You do not want to assemble it until after you sublimate it. So we sublimate it first, and then we put the tube in. Does it keep liquids hot and cool like the insulated one? Well, I don't know. That's a, I, I'm, I'm sure that it does because it's... Um, 
it's done the same way as the steel? So, you, so I think technical answer is, um, you know, that brand out there that everybody knows about, um, people who have products like it or copy it, and we certainly have um, um, our octagon bottom version. But bottom line is this, that um, those are double walled and, and in theory that inner wall is, is sort of a vacuum space like our bottles, I believe. So you're probably going to get um, superior cold and hot from, from those. Um, and so time will tell. We'll, we need to do some testing here. It's a brand new product. Yeah, it, I mean, and this is the world debut oh, of yeah, it. Oh yeah! By the way, you're the first guys. You're the first ones yep. to see this. It is on the web. It is in stock. It is ready to ship. But you guys are the very first ones to see it, right. or us to talk about it. So hey, 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 hey! Can you do this polymer in the oven? You can. Yes. Yes. It, yes in Barb, fact, all of it's this really. In the oven. It's really. Uh, the design is intended for the oven. Moving forward here, as we introduce new drinkware products. Our focus will be on the oven, and um, um, so so that's why I think it's important to get an oven. Very much so. Very important to get an oven. So uh, this is the SF79 again. Um, so his question was, why can't you do the travel mug in the oven? And and the reason the travel mug, good question by the way, travel mug was designed many many years ago perhaps 15 years ago um, and we actually purchased our our version of this from a great US company that ultimately went out of business and uh, ultimately the uh, uh, a good partner of ours in China started making it at our request and so the challenge is this handle so this handle ultimately in an oven uh, gets hot enough where the handle will droop and so that's why um, this is not going to be a good candidate for the oven, that this simply is, is going to remain um, a product for the mug press. All right, guys. So we're doing the, uh, the big mug for 360 degrees, 6 minutes and 30 seconds. That's it. Let's go back to one. Awesome. Okay. Then we got it in there. So and I don't know if you guys saw, but I took, I took the rack out. And I put my thermometer back in, and I just placed the mug in between the bottom elements. Um, I spaced it in between the bottom elements. You want to make sure it's not too close to one or the other element. Um, the name of the oven, the Hamilton Beach Large Capacity Convection Oven, model number 31108. 31108. David, did you throw it on the floor yet? Hmm. Not I should. Yet. Not I yet. Should. Not yet. Well, it doesn't have the um, it doesn't have the snap top top lid like mine oh, does. Yeah, so. that's true. Well, we got people with great memories. Do I have any um, subly bags? Um, no, I don't. I don't have bags for the subly shrink yet. All right, guys, I've got. I'm almost close to my magic number of viewers. So let's 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 share this video. Let's get it up there, and I'll give um, two people some artwork. And then if I tell you what. I'll go ahead and give two people artwork right now. I'll pick two people. I'll give you artwork. Get me 50 more viewers, and I'll give you. I'll pick two more people. So, guys, share wow. the video. Two of you are going to get it, and then if you share it, we get the viewership up. I'll give two more art packs out. So, you should just make a sign. And and as a as while we're doing stuff here, <laughs> Sam, that's a really good idea. I'm just going to make a sign that says model number wow. 31108. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. We got some great folks. We do. We uh, really do. Really good. I want to make a plug for a product that I'm in love with that we're not featuring today while we cut something in the oven here, and that is the new 3D ornaments. Ooh, yes. Um, oh, yeah. I, I love them. I got one. Um, I just absolutely love them, and so I'm looking forward. This is one style. To um, do, we got three styles. Got three styles. And I'm looking forward to making uh, my set for Christmas for our tree. Um, I just love them. They're inexpensive. They're easy to do. They come already for a production environment because they come in in sheets, you know, where you've got multiple ones on there. Um, everybody ought to ought to run to get those. They're they're just gonna 
going to light people up because it's a product that I doubt very seriously that anyone's ever seen before. They love so, your artwork. Um, and the, the ball one that's got the, you know, that takes a little bit of creative design because you've got essentially four sides that fit together, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's a little different, uh, but it's really, really cool. So I had a couple questions. So this mug, great question because I didn't say it, is number is item number TUM225. So this big tall one, the 30 ounce with the hex bottom is tum Two two five tum two twenty five. Um, the cup that David knocked on the floor and it didn't spill anything is this beautiful mug right here. This is our tum two one seven tum two seventeen. I know, no, it's not. It's <coughs> tum Excuse me. Two fifteen. Yes, tum two fifteen. That's it. It's the white fifth sixteen ounce um, stainless steel Luma steel tumbler with the handle. Um, all right, show, so, yes. And we really have gone to considerable effort to make sure these are going to make you money. We've greatly lowered the selling price of them, so um, cash in on it, get ready for, um, go ahead and start doing those Christmas things, planting seeds, the fundraisers, anybody that you can think of, make them a sample so that um, you'll get your product into the mix. That's right. So I got one more product. Okay. And, um, but that's it, but I'm going to wait for this one to finish. So um, I didn't do very much today. I okay. mean, I did, but, you know, I did. I did. All right, guys. Oh, yeah. Posted the uh, 3D ornament there. Fantastic. Yeah. Cool, cool. Weird. Is that Lindsay doing that? Hey, Lindsay. Thank you, Nicole. Hi, guys. Or Chris. Do appreciate it. Um, trying to think of other things going on right now. Um, do, 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 do. I think pretty much almost everything is on sale. There's the the 400 is on sale. The 800, um, very very attractive price on it as well. Um, the Epson is just rolling out. We shipped our first huge. Um, um, truckload of those out went out yesterday. Um, I think we, we may have one or two left, but we filled all our back orders and waiting for more to come in. Um, if you have questions about that new printer, uh, please let us know. If you're going to be in Charlotte, come by. God willing, we'll be showing the printer there, um, and uh, we'll do some more work. But you know, for for typical folks. I'll tell you what, you just, you can't beat the, the quality, the consistency, the, the supportability of the SG400-800. Uh, but folks that want to step up into a little bit different league, um, I'm really liking the, the F570. Same. Um, I had a question, uh, I had a couple questions. I see you guys, Felix and Susan, I'm going to get to you in a second. I had a question about Condi Design. Um, about logging into Condi Design and if it's the same as the Condi website. And no, it's not. You have to have a different login and password for the Condi Design website as you do for the Condi.com website. And I had a question how many mugs can the oven handle at one time? I don't know. I really, I don't know. Um, I let's guess see. it depends a, a little bit on the, the oven. The, well, and the mugs, too. So let's say if we're going to do this mug and we're going to use the rack, you could probably fit, I would say you could probably do six at one time, six 11 ounce mugs. That's um, your timer? That's my timer. Okay, here we go. Now, let's talk about time temps for the oven. It is super important that you put a I don't want to mess it up. Yeah, it's super important it that you put a stand-up thermometer in the back of it like we have because you cannot rely on whatever the oven tells you to be the correct temperature. If you do, then, then it's going to drive you crazy. So you must, you must, you must get a little stand-up thermometer. You know, eBay, Amazon, Target, I'm sure you can pretty much find one everywhere. Um, so uh, very helpful. Um, the other thing is each oven is going to put out a different amount of heat. And so heat is what does the sublimation. 
not really the temperature, it's the heat. You know, that's why on your stove, small burner versus big burner, they're at the same temperature, but the big burner is going to cook your food uh, faster. Oh, huh, nice. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting some... Um, getting some, some blurriness, but that's what I think that's, um, my temperature dropped a little bit for some reason. So, so um, again, it's it's a matter of dialing in your settings once you um, start producing products. Remember that black is that last color to sublimate, so what we're after is a good deep rich black going all the way around. I had a call from a lady yesterday that was really struggling with her oven. Um, providing inconsistent uh, heat and um, one side was blurry one side not and you know it's obviously coming from um, the um, so if you look at the transfer paper I bet the ink is still there it is it so is. Um, That's so um, the 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 point is that if an ovens inconsistent as far as the circulation and the temperature then transfer technique isn't necessarily the right solution, it's, it's the oven. Um, these ovens have a convection feature which means it's circulating air. When you turn that convection feature over, you're just baking stuff. So my point is this, in trying to help her, um, I went back to um, what I learned with a very old oven of ours that I really love. It was the um, um, Cuisinart brick oven and they had a piece of stone in the bottom of the oven. Remember that? Yeah, yes, sir. And so that helped radiate consistent temperature. And so what I suggested to her that if she's really struggling with this and doesn't want to buy a new oven, um, that she put a couple of mugs in the oven um, to help radiate heat. In other words, the, the mugs itself will get hot, they'll radiate heat, and, and I think that has a really good shot at balancing uh, the heat in the oven. You will need to press a little bit longer if the mugs are cold to heat up. But again, it's, it's just a um, suggestion as far as how to deal with an oven that, that has some inconsistencies. Um, and Laura says, even the best have uh-oh moments, right? And I thank you, Laura, because I absolutely hate when I peel something out and it doesn't work right. It drives me Now, the funny part insane. is, if Sprite goes to the uh, recycle bin here, um, because right before this broadcast, she did a complete 100% test and um, turned out. So um, I'm wondering exactly what, what caused the issue. Uh, I had the temperature drop. Okay. I need to, um, anyways, we'll, we'll get with that. Okay, so I'm going to stick it in. Uh, Eddie, no, I'm sorry, Jerry, she asked, can we use our same login to sign in here as the regular Condi site? And no, Jerry, you got to have a different login for the Condi design site. So all I'm going to do, I've taken my insert, sticking it in, and just pushing down. Um, so Jeff is asking a question, um, Finished. depending on varied... Um, from SG800, um, including the price of... So, I think the gist of your question, Jeff, is you're asking about um, uh, cost of ownership uh, on an 800. Generally speaking, um, what I would suggest is that, that a good rule of thumb to be a penny per square inch for full color. One penny per square inch for full color um, for for the SG-800 and 400. Now, on the 800, if you use the extended um, size cartridges, which of course you can, um, and you can mix and match, as a matter of fact, um, you, you're getting very close to a 30% cost savings. So it's a significant cost savings by going to the extended cartridges. So um, you would drop it down to be you know, 0 0.07 pennies, I mean, um, that 0.7 pennies per square inch, so 7 tenths of a penny per square inch for full color. Now, most people do not print full color. So, you're, you know, in other words, if there's not ink there, you're not paying for the ink. Okay. All right, I've got my last mug. I'm reading 
about the pizza, and I don't know if that's a joke or not, or if maybe it's a typo. Um, but first, we'll get to that question in just a second. This is my final. He says pizza oven, I guess. And, oh, okay. Take a pizza and cut it to fit the oven to help balance the heat. I don't so, know. So um, you would need something in the oven that that really absorbs and radiates heat, um, like um, stone, ceramics, porcelains, um, possibly metal. Although I, metal would be a little scary to me, but but something that essentially um, would mimic what we found in the Cuisinart brick oven. Um, and so, um, but other than that, I can't tell you, but I can tell you that when, when the big boys and girls have the conveyor ovens and they're processing huge volumes, they always run the same way. They have a full complete row of mugs because it's important that the mugs radiate heat off each other and then you, you have a full column. So you don't operate the big ovens unless it, you're feeding a capacity row and column into it or your settings simply don't work. In other words, if you put one mug going through a conveyor oven, it, it, it would not sublimate right because it's the, the heat radiation from all the mugs that gets the job done. Um. That's interesting. Um, so I had a question about if this was dishwasher safe, and because it is double walled, no, you want to hand wash it, and um, you don't want to disassemble it once you assemble it because you're going to break the little pins off um, from the inner and outer uh, things. So, um, okay, this is my last mug of the day. This is my Tum 220. This is a 15 ounce polymer double walled coffee mug. I love this mug. This mug is going to run you about $4.50 to $5.20. So this is a full, really nice, comes with a handle, So or excuse me, comes with a lid, no handle. So once again, three pieces assemble after you press. So I got my cute coffee design and I'm going to wrap it around. So we're going to do the same thing. And why don't we ship to Newfoundland, Canada? Well, um, I thought we did ship to Canada. Okay. Um, so if you're in Canada and you would like to buy a product, probably the best way to do that is to send an email or call with what your order is. We will um, quote you the Canadian freight and um, ship it to you. Um, obviously, because Canada is, is outside the United States, um, you would typically be responsible for any duties and tariffs for products that are uh, manufactured outside of North America. Okie dokie. So, just like any of our other latte uh, tumblers, I'm just going to tape around the top. I taped all the way up and down the seam with my premium gold heat tape. And once again, I got my SF79, which is the same shovel shrink that I'm using for all my mugs today. Justin's heat gun. Thanks for letting me borrow it. I'll tell you, one of the things that may be... Um, one of the things that may be the the deciding factor on the, the problem we just had is, is this extension cord. Um, it's a very light duty cord, so. Okay. Um, so I'm trying not to flip the breaker again today. All right. Yeah. Got my mug, stick it in the oven. Oh, somebody asked me, um, let's go to, go to your front camera for a second, please. Somebody asked me to see the uh, thermometer, and this is the thermometer that we use. It's just a, um, it's like a, what is this, David? It's not a candy thermometer. It's a stand up thermometer, um, you know, probably what is, what's the maximum temperature on it? 500. Six hundred degrees. Okay, so very high temperature range. That's that's what you really need. Now, for folks that either are paranoid or have really big ovens, you can buy more than one and stick the, the thermometers in the, in say, the back left and back right of it to sort of understand how even your heat is um, in the oven. Um, so, um, again, the oven is just a huge heat source, and um, uh, it's, it's sort of 
try an oven, see what you think. We've had, I think, very respectable success with this Hamilton Beach. Absolutely. Um, so Jackie says she tried to register on the site and there's no option for Newfoundland. So Jackie, do me a favor, just call us. Yeah, the, the, um, our shopping cart is, is really designed uh, first and foremost for, for uh, the states. So I apologize for that deficiency. I have spoken to um, the, the person in charge of the shopping cart, that part of it, and have indicated that I would love to have do a, do a, a normal perfect job there with uh, folks that want to place orders from Canada. We do get um, inundated with, with Canadians wanting to buy our products and we are, we are, we are appreciative of that. It's just there's a few extra hurdles um, in shipping to Canada. Okay, that's a, just a regular old oven thermometer. Um, okay, all right, reading all the comments. How smooth does the Subba Frank need to be after it is heated to the mug? Sometimes it doesn't lay smoothly, but it hasn't affected any prints yet. Yeah, Nancy, really you're just um, keeping, keeping the gas from the dye uh, uh, close to the mug. So it can be a little bundled. Um, that's all right. Yeah, all right. Uh, great question. And, um, you know, we're, we're always trying to understand the intricacies of the process and how we can improve it, what goes wrong. Um, but that's been one of the joys of Subless Shrink is it really seems to be immune from these kind of things. As long as you can keep it from cracking, um, it, it just seems to work. That's Right. Can you use a mug press? Yes, Kath. Uh, hmm. So you could probably mm, you could use the DK3T for the Tum 220. Um, probably. Uh, I don't know if if the pressure of the press. I, is I gonna, would I would basically just for these yeah, new products. I would one. say that they're oven products uh, because of you can do such a larger area, um, and and they're just they're not going to be products that are done done for uh, typical mug press. Sorry about that. Oh, Suna. Suna says she's going to come work for us when we open a warehouse in Canada. I know, Suna. I'm going to get you up with Jackie. I can have my Canadian connection. It would be fantastic. Um, yeah, I was at Printing United and met some of the uh, my Canadian peers there. Um, and, you know, again, I don't know much about the uh, distribution uh, of sublimation products in Canada. Um, so, um, but hopefully we can help you. Um, okay, if you put multiple mugs in at the same time, do you have additional time or temperature? Uh, yes, you do add time because you're increasing the surface area, so you need to increase the time. Um, so, uh, uh, I think it, what is it, a minute? A so, again, it's one of those things according to the power of your oven. Um, and um, as we get feedback, as we do things here, we'll certainly pass them along. But, you know, you're going to add, add a, if you fill up the oven, you're probably going to add a minute or two to your time. But ultimately, if you're in the documentation mode, which you should be, um, you can do that. So one of the rules of, of thumb that you can do to, to dial in your settings, tune them, is to do a black test. So you could print a solid black of, of, you know, say a one inch band, wrap it around the product, put it in the oven and see how good it does. And then if you think you need to add time, print another black band, put that same mug back in the oven and, and sublimate, you know, in the space right above that first band. And that's going to allow you ultimately to dial in uh, your, your transfer technique. Um, Jerry, I've got a couple of webinars on designing in Corel, but I will definitely look at, a, a, at doing another one because I know that um, I think since the last time I did a webinar on Corel, we've had maybe three or four versions of Corel come out. So yeah, it's definitely time for another one. Um, and then a couple extra other questions. Uh, this is the Tum 225, and this is our 30 ounce tumbler that fits in my Hamilton Beach large capacity convection oven model number 31108 that I got from Walmart for 75 bucks. Answering all the questions at one time. I want to make one point so it's crystal clear is if you begin to use an oven for sublimation, use that oven only for sublimation. 
do not use it for food. Use it just for sublimation. Um, and vice versa, if you've got a food oven, only use that for food. Um, never ever go back and forth. Um, I don't want to be responsible for anything that might go on uh, as far as in the future. Right now we certainly believe sublimation process is um, not harmful, but again, everybody knows that there are people that are allergic to peanuts. There are things going on in our world that are way outside of our control. So let's practice common sense and use your oven for sublimation only. Common sense. Um, okay, I had another question. Uh, Cheryl, that is an amazing idea. Cheryl gave out koozies with her cards inside them last night to all the adults that came by trick-or-treating. I think that's amazing. That's a great idea. Um, I had a question about wrinkles in the sublish shrink. We just covered that. Wrinkles, you should be okay. And then can you do coasters with the sublish shrink? Mm, it's going to take you an incredibly long time. So just, just put it in the press. Yeah, right. the, uh, I would say that for flat products, um, you know, I think the jury's still out as far as what products um, are going to work well in an oven. Um, what are the transfer techniques? I know um, uh, there are people out there like Cheryl Kuchek who have, uh, who's a pioneer in, in our world and who is certainly pushing the limits of sublimation. And um, we will try to do the same. But right now, for flat products, I would probably do them in my trusty George Knight DK20S. Yeah, I think um, we were working on some ornaments, uh, ceramic ornaments, and we were up to like 14 minutes in the heat press. Oh, I did throw this one on the ground. All right, wow. that looks good. So my Good job. Thanks, thanks, thanks. So there's my seam. You can see where the, um, the image meets in the back. And then, oh, it's hot. It's hot, guys. So there's my cup. Really, really cute. So I'm going to let it cool a little bit and then I'm going to put it together and then you guys can see it put together. This is, um, yeah, this is, I really, really like this cup. I think this is going to be a really, really big mover. I think they both are. Um, but this is kind of more of a standard size, just like a regular coffee cup kind of thing. Uh, so it's going to be nice. Yeah, Scotty that. Martin had a comment about black turning brown. He is correct that if you overcook something, the black tends to turn brown with these ink sets. Um, it's one of those kind of final jeopardy questions is that um, what color an overheated black turns brown uh, turns is really dependent actually on on the ink itself um, so for instance when we overcook um, with the inks we use on our big printers they turn green um, but the uh, typical desktop inks that I'm familiar with you are 100% correct they turn brown Right. So, um, Sari said she asked for uh, this Christmas for cu uh, mugs, cups, and everything from Condi. Well, guess what, Sari? They're on sale. So, yes, you can you can get that. Um, so, the large 30-ounce polymer tumbler with the octagon base is Tum 225, and the smaller 15-ounce tumbler um, is Tum 220. So, the Tum 211 is actually our stainless steel Luma steel line drinkware. Um, love the coffee design. Zach, doing good. Uh, can you use the subtle shrink in a mug press? No, because the mug press is what's giving you the pressure, and the reason for the subtle shrink is, is pressure. So. Yeah, again, it, it, it doesn't serve a purpose in a mug press. And, you know, i got to tell you, um, like a George Knight DK3 is, is very convenient for doing 11-ounce, 15-ounce mugs all day long. Um, and, and But the value of the oven is that you can push well beyond that limit uh, in your ability to decorate um, more areas of the mug um, and a um, bunch of new products coming that are going to be uh, products that you would never be able to, to put in an, a uh, mug press. So again, it's, it's just an evolution of the sublimation process, but if you think about it, it's a very good one because we get to do more and, and the cost is less, so um, uh, really cool. And we're still out there looking for that magic oven, but right now for the folks, uh, repeat one more time, it's the Hamilton Beach Model 31108.
We get a um, sign, like Sam said. We need a sign. The oven we use is. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, it's worked out well for us. Hey, Artist Spree. Thanks for joining the live. Um, I had a question about these. Tum are those tumblers plastic? They are. They're polymer tumblers. Um, and then, great comment. I recently did some mugs on the SG800 with Texprint R and Sawgrass Ink. They look great, but the black faded very quickly. Any ideas? So, um, what did they transfer to? Uh, a mug. Okay. So, um, if you could let us know who you got the mug from, or what mug it is, um, but that would be um, what I would say would be unusual. Uh, because uh, certainly the coatings that we use um, should hold up exceptionally well. Um, so I'd be interested to know what mug it is, um, where you got it from, so to speak. But um, we've thoroughly tested our mugs for many, many years. There really hasn't been changes um, in the coatings for a long, long time. They're excellent coatings. In the dishwasher, it turns out the main challenge for a coating is the abrasion. Uh, that's how your, you know, your utensils are cleaned through an abrasive dishwashing powder. Um, yes, the the temperature that they're uh, dried at, if you're using a heat to dry them, it can also happen. Um, but but ultimately, um, our our mugs um, um, should should hold up extremely well for the ones that are intended to go in the dishwasher. Now again, not everything should be placed into a dishwasher. Something that's double walled um, isn't going to, it should not be placed in the dishwasher. All right, I'm gonna assemble my mug now. So I've got um, the bottom piece in the, or the inner wall and the outer wall, and I'm just gonna place them together. I'm gonna stick my hand over it and push down. And there we go, that's it, it's on there. You know what somebody I thought was gonna ask us and probably will? is people always want to know, can you sublimate to the bottom of a mug? Can you sublimate to the inside of a mug? And, and the answer is, if you didn't have this double-walled insert in there, you know, there'd probably be a way to sublimate to the inside. But with the insert being black, um, you can't see it. Can you sublimate to the bottom? Well, in theory you can. Um, but we don't have a technique today for sublimating to the bottom. Not yet. Not so, yet. So, um, you know, thinking outside the box there, what new adventures still to come? How about that? We recommend hand washing all of the double walled mugs. So, okay. Um, oh, and mm, yeah, all right. So, let's, let's all right. So I'm done. I've got my three mugs. I've got my Tom 225, my Tom 220, and my CM11. This is the part of the video that you have been probably waiting on. So I'm going to give these three away if you can tell me how much it weighs. But wait, first, let me go over the rules. I can only have one guest per person. Only your first guest will qualify. One guest per platform, either Facebook or YouTube. Guesses should be expressed in pounds because we can't do math. So 1.2, 3.6, yada, yada, yada. The winning weight will be the first guest closest to, but not over the total combined weight of the products. Two prizes will be awarded, one on Facebook, one on YouTube. Free shipping in the continental U.S. only. Sorry, Canada people. Uh, cannot win twice within 60, uh, six months. Talking to you, Eddie Greer. All right, there you go. What, you guys will get one of each. All right. So go while we're getting the guesses, I want to answer a question that came up about coffee staining the, the polymers. So... Uh, as these are brand new products that Sprite just did, I'm, I'm not familiar with, with exactly how to answer it, but the, the way I would answer it is with this. So I have one of these. Um, it's actually at home. Um, I bring this, you know, when I'm, when I'm driving. Um, and I have used this for years and years and years with my coffee. And yes, it gets stained inside, but to put it back brand new, um, I spray a little Clorox inside and it, it's back to brand new. So um, I, I just have had tremendously good success with the polymers and I gotta believe that, that these other polymer products are gonna behave the exact same way. So um, again, um, you know, you wanna be careful with Clorox. So when I typically do it, it's in the morning when I 
you know, I'm not dressed up, ready to go to work, so just in case a drop of Clorox gets on me, um, but um, mine cleans up, looks absolutely great. Other questions? Um, we had a lot of questions, a lot of great questions. We did are, have a bunch of questions. are just awesome a folks. Bunch of questions. So, oh, Holly asked about um, the hot water in the um, in the dishwasher taking out sublimation ink. So, the um, since we use heat to put it in, heat can take it out. But my experience has been um, over these 28 years or whatever, how long it is, is that the coatings that are used today um, on the products that are coated, now polymers are not coated, they're just made of sublimation plastic, but typical ceramic mugs, those kinds of things, the, the coating that we use on our mugs um, in, in um, the Mug 11 and Mug 15, we have a direct hand in that coating, um, they, they hold up extraordinarily well. Um, if I had to say sort of a what is a torture test, it would be, um, say, selling into uh, a restaurant environment that is using a commercial dishwasher um, that really runs the temperature up on the drying cycle. Um, that would, that would, you know, that would tend to show up after X number of washings, uh, maybe 40, something like that. But, but ultimately, because it's so darn hot in that sanitization cycle, um, that, that is, that's really the ultimate test. But from a consumer point of view, typical uh, home kind of dishwasher, um, I, I can only speak, of course, for our mugs, um, they're going to hold up quite well. And if they don't, I need to know about it. Um, okay, so I have a review winner um, every single week. I ask you guys to tell me about the product that you did that week. So go to the product and leave me a review, and I pick a winner. I pick a random person, and I give them $25 in Condi credit just for telling me how you feel about the things that you've bought. So this week, my review winner is Richard Kelly. Richard... Um, Richard reviewed our uh, color light glass, item number YZ152, and he said, since I got into sublimation, my number one product is sublimation glass. Cool. My customers love this product. Thank you, Condi Systems. We'd love, so he posted, uh, did he, I wonder if he posted, congratulations, Richard. Awesome, I wonder Richard. if you, you posted have $25 in, Condi in the uh, client gallery. I'd love to see your work, see what you're doing. The lady did, regarding the mug that faded, she did, um, um, Publish the brand, um, and I'm not going to repeat it, but um, it is not a brand that we sell. I am familiar with that brand, um, and in general, I would consider that to be a, a, a good brand. So I don't have an explanation well, uh, as to why it might, might have faded. I would certainly uh, suggest you, you um, repeat the test, um, but ultimately, if you want to give me a call, um, Maybe we can troubleshoot it together, um, but you know, again, um, you know, we we try to have the very highest grade of mugs. And by the way, what's what does grade mean? Um, it, it is a bunch of things, and I think we probably do probably do it better than anybody I can think of. Number one is great coating. Number two is um, dimensionally stable, um, so that meaning it's it's the right shape every time, straight um, kind of thing. Number three is the density of the porcelain or ceramic material. If if the density is not so good, then then you can you can really have problems transferring to it. And then the fourth is, and perhaps the most important, um, really it comes down to um, how free is the entire sublimation surface of the you know from really every surface of it from um, artifacts, from fish eyes, from, from imperfections that are in the surface. And again, we pay, um, so that we can sell it to you, we pay for a top grade of mug. Um, and, and um, you know, I often wonder what happens to all the other mugs. Where do they go? Because we're not selling them. So they got to be going somewhere, 
but I can just tell you that um, um, from a statistical point of view, um, we're delivering a, a very high uh, consistency, high grade. And, you know, if, if there's something wrong with the bug or there's one that's inconsistent, you know, we're going to, of course, uh, stand behind it. Um, but, you know, in the grand scheme of things, knock on wood, um, really don't have a lot of issues with our ceramic mugs. Texting the marketing department. Okay. Um, so, we talked about gallery contest. So, let's, let's talk some more about the gallery contest. So, I have a gallery contest winner right here on my screen. You can see it over there. Um, so, I have a oh. gallery contest winner. And my winner this week is Sharon Bellard of Digital Decor by Sharon. And she um, she did our... That's beautiful. A slate plaque, our SUSL037. Uh, in addition to winning $25 with uh, leaving me a product review, you can also win $25 a week by showing me a photo of the product that you did this week. Um, so I pick a winner every single week, and well, Lindsay picks a winner every single week, and then we do a quarterly contest where we give away huge prizes. First place is $400, second place is $200, third place is $100, and then we also give out an honorable mention prize of $100 in Condi Cash. This quarter, our theme is show me your best retail display. So your holiday retail display, maybe you're doing a party, whatever you're doing, show me a picture of it. Your chance to win $400, $200, or $100 in Condi Cash. So congratulations, Sharon. Thank you so very much. You'll be getting an email soon with how to, on how to collect your $25 yeah. in Condi Cash. I want to cover a couple of technical things for folks out there. Um, so Zach, if you could. Okay. Thank you. Zach's doing a great job, isn't he? He is doing a great uh, job. Thank you. Job. Takes a lot of load off us. Um, so the the tech thing, tech tip is about Macintosh, and the new Macintosh operating system, Catalina. So, in the print system, Apple went from a 32-bit print system to 64-bit. Essentially, that rendered all the drivers not working, obsolete. Um, and so, um, we were a little bit prepared for this, and, and so now, pretty much, we're, we're stable on almost everything. So, if you have a Sawgrass SG400-800, we, we are, I would say, 99% there. Um, there are some things that are happening that we don't understand, but for the most part, we can, we can get everybody going that is um, that is using a 400-800. With the the older printers, the older Ricos, which there's a huge number of people out there that use those, the SG-3110, the SG-7100, um, we now have the Rico drivers for those printers. And so, um, you know, we should be good to go. The last element will be for the very, very old printers, the 3300, the 7700 Ricos, um, and we're checking with Rico. Rico um, is just an amazing company. And of course, if you didn't know it, the SG400 are made by Rico. Um, just a fantastic company, great print head. So, at any rate, um, um, if you haven't updated to Catalina, um, you may want to wait just a little bit longer check with us to make sure that we're good to go on whatever printer you have. Um, so, so everybody, all the printer companies are scrambling to provide uh, support for Catalina. Now, the last part of this is every day people will ask us um, to understand what is spectrofusion. So spectrofusion is our way of best practices color management or sublimation that, in my opinion, is very demonstrable to have the best color, the most accurate colors um, for sublimation. It is something that, how much do they have to pay for spectrofusion, Sprite? Uh, nothing. Nothing. They have to buy the printer. So, so there's two ways you can get spectrofusion for your SG400-800, for your older Ricoh printer. And that is, number one is have bought your printer from us. It's part of your purchase. 
if you did not buy your printer from us, and we certainly understand uh, that, um, then you can get Spectre Fusion by simply beginning to buy your inks from us as part of your ink purchase. We will uh, provide Spectre Fusion support. Now, the alternative to Spectre Fusion um, is also free, and it's Sawgrass's VPM, which stands for Virtuoso Print Manager, and it has a lot of bells and whistles. Um, it is absolutely necessary for folks that are using Creative Studio. So the two go together. Um, but if you have VPM um, and you would like to find out if um, you can get better color with um, the Spectre Fusion profile, then I've told you the two ways you get it. Um, Spectre Fusion is really the way to go, um, very demonstrably the way to go for folks that are using colorware applications like Adobe products, like Corel products, because Spectre Fusion hooks directly into the color engine for Corel and Adobe. And by doing that, um, essentially you're, you have less translational losses and you're talking um, inside the color engine um, with, with the best color profiles uh, in, the, in the color translation. Um, and so, you know, there's a lot of stuff on the internet that will help you understand what the CIE color engine is. Adobe calls it ACE. Um, but nonetheless, if you were to call up Corel, call up Adobe, and ask them what is the very best way to print to a specialty printer like a sublimation ink, they would say um, use a ICC profile that you get from the manufacturer and use that profile um, at print time from the application and uh, of course use the correct settings in the driver. By doing that you're going to get the the most accurate, the best color and that is exactly what Spectre Fusion is. It's a game and so changer. when Sprite prints to her SG-800 she's using uh, generally using Corel um, and she's using the Spectre Fusion uh, color management software that we installed on her her computer. Um, Spectra Fusion is both for a Windows machine and for a Mac machine. Um, and so um, there's now Corel for the Mac. Um, I don't know too many people who have it. Um, I'm not super familiar with it. I installed it on my Mac. Um, seems to work fine. Um, but it is, it is different. So um, I'm sort of a creature of habit. So on my Mac, when I want to do things like that, um, I'm going to uh, boot up in the Windows environment to use Corel. I've got some winners. Okay. Um, I, have, I have some winners. So let me give out some art packs. I'm going to give out four packs because you guys did amazing. Um, we, we had a bunch of viewers, and so um, my two YouTube winners are Pilar Hardy and Lee Vite Apparel, and I don't know if I said it right again, and I'm sorry if I didn't. And then my two Facebook winners are Rogina Wheeler and Tim Johnson. So, in order to, in order to uh, claim your Condi Design art pack, you have to email me, swood at condi.com, so I can send you your art. So, Pilar, Levite, Rajina, and Tim Johnson, email me, swoodatcondi.com, and I'll send you your art. If you don't email me, I can't send it to you. I've got two winners for my Guess the Weight on YouTube. My winner was Marissa Dandridge with a guess of 1.2 pounds. Marissa, you were the closest. And my winner on Facebook was Julia Turgeon. I don't know if I said it right, Julia, and I'm sorry. You had a guess of 1.4 pounds, which you were... Absolutely correct. The uh, weight was 1.4 pounds. So, Marissa, Julia, Pilar, Levite, Regina, and Tim, email me, swoodatcondi.com, and I'm going to send you your stuff. I had two questions here. One of them is, I have a Mac. It was from Joanne. I have a Mac. I'm having issues with Silhouette and the SG-800 Mac. So, um, um, if you, you know, buying your stuff from us, you know, got your printer from us, please call if you didn't get your printer from us, call anyway. Um, let us see if we can help you. Um, so, could be a Catalina issue. Um, that's certainly been, been going on. Um, Karen Cox, thank you for the plug regarding Spectrefusion. Um, again, um, 
let us know what we need to do to help you grow your business. Can't promise that we can do everything, um, but um, if we can't help you, maybe we know someone who does, or ha uh, someone that can. Anything right. else? Well, I we want to thank so. you for being with us on this Friday, November 1st. Can you believe November's here? It's almost um, 2020. My oldest gets married November 23rd, and um, uh, my wife and I are bracing for impact. Um, and for a barren update for people that remain, remain barren, uh, Baron the Beast is our half St. Bernard, half Newfoundland, um, quote, quote, puppy. He is now 10 months old. He is right at 150 pounds. That's more than I weigh. Um, absolutely incredible. Uh, gentle Giant is what is, so we'll need to get him back for a cameo appearance before the end of the year. Absolutely. I want to thank everybody for being with us, and thank you uh, for being part of the Condi family. We look forward to seeing you next. It is likely that we will do a broadcast um, Saturday morning from Charlotte. Um, so uh, tune in, and we'll see you there. Be safe. Bye, guys.